the mother of faith has died. The first patriarch is about to die. But even in his old age, he took another wife and had many other children. Abraham has been sojourning for almost 65 years. Settled in Canaan, God blessed him with the promised child Isaac, who is now a grown man, took on a wife by the name of Rebecca. Abraham is a little over 140. And Genesis 25 states, Abraham took a wife and her name was Keturah. She gave Abraham six children and of course he had other children from other women. It is evident that Abraham was very strong even up until close to his death. And these are the days of the years of Abraham's life. Abraham lived 175 years. Then Abraham gave up the ghost and he died in a good old age, an old man and full of years and was gathered to his people. And his sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah in the field of Ephron, the son of Zoar the Hittite, which is before Mamre. So we see here where the same cave that he bought to bury Sarah was the same cave that he too was buried in. And earlier in the chapter, we learned how when Agar was cast out with Ishmael, how the Lord promised to bless Ishmael also, because of course he is also a seed of Abraham. And God promised that he too will have a nation and he would have 12 princes. And that is what we're about to see here now. In verse 16, we can see the many blessings that Ishmael's sons possessed because they had towns, they had castles, and it says 12 princes according to their nations. Ishmael also lived to 137 years and he too died. So the story continues with the second patriarch, Isaac. Isaac married Rebekah, the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian of Padaram, the sister to Laban, the Syrian. Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because, guess what? Rebekah too was barren, just as how Sarah was barren. But when Isaac prayed to the Lord, the Lord answered his prayer and Rebekah was able to conceive. So we see here where Isaac was more focused on seeking the Lord for his work in the life of his marriage. Instead of what happened with Abraham and Sarah, where Sarah took on herself to give Abraham, Hagar, and we know well how that story turned out. So back to Isaac and Rebekah. Now Rebekah is pregnant and the children struggled together within her because she was pregnant with twins. And she went to inquire of the Lord. Why are these children behaving like this inside me? And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people 
shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, the nine months has come, we have come to the ninth, ninth month, behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red, all over like an hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. And after that came his brother out, and his brother held on to his heel, and his name was Jacob. And Isaac was sixty years old when the twins were born. And the boys grew up, and Esau. He was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. So we see where Esau likes to go out, he's very adventurous. But Jacob was a homeboy, preferred to stay close to home and, of course, close to mommy. And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison. But Rebecca loved Jacob. Now, just for clarity, it is not saying that the parents hated either of the sons. But Esau was preferred by Isaac and Jacob was preferred by Rebecca. And one day, Jacob sawed pottage. That means he was there cooking a meal. And Esau came from the field, and he was faint. That means he was very tired. He was extremely tired, and he was extremely hungry. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die, and what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lintels, and he did eat and drink, and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. So what we see here, the birthright is the privilege or the blessing or the inheritance that is given to the firstborn child. That is what Jacob was asking Esau for. And of course, Obviously, Esau did not believe or he did not think that this, this birthright was as precious as, as it should be seen as or deemed as. And so, because he was so hungry, he sold his birthright. Let us hear further as we continue a chapter a day. Join me again and we will hear what happens next. That's it for now, for a chapter a day, Genesis 25, the death of our first patriarch. God bless you. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we exalt you. We magnify your name because you are worthy. God, you have brought us thus far. You called Abraham a sojourner for many years. You called him out of sin. You called him out of idolatry to lead him to a promised land through whom, O oh God, your seed would continue, Father, to create the nation of Israel, your called out people. Mighty God, you have called us. O oh God, you have sent your son to die for us. We too are sojourners in this land, in this world. God, you see the many challenges that we face. God, you see the many obstacles that are before us. But great God, just as how you blessed Abraham, 
Oh God Almighty, just as how you worked miracles in the life of Abraham straight until the point of death. I pray, mighty God, that you will continue to work miracles in our lives. I pray, God, that we will not give up. Oh God, that we will make right choices. Father, I pray, God, that we will be an example to others that people may see you through us and be led to glorify you and to become a part of this kingdom. God, we pray, Father, that you will give us the strength as the strength of Abraham. I pray, God, that you will give us the faith as the faith of Abraham. God, continue to have your way in our lives. Bless us, God. Sanctify us. Keep us close to your heart, God, so we will not be deceived and drawn away by the enemy. Father, have your own way. Continue to bless the listeners. Oh God, continue to renew in them. Oh God, your way. Hallelujah. Oh God, your way of righteousness. Have your own way, God, as I say thanks. In the name of Yeshua Mashiach, I pray. Amen.